To join us in welcoming Griggs Cunningham to the Corvette Hall of Fame, please welcome his grandson, Robert. Hello, everybody. Um, I had a nice speech planned, and that video ruined it. Sorry. Um, Briggs Cunningham, Mr. C, of course I know Grandpa, was an amazing person. I grew up in a house full of pictures, stories, and trophies of this man, and I kept thinking, wow, how famous he is. What, a, what an amazing, and that's not what he was. He didn't want fame. He didn't want fortune. There's a famous quote out there saying, if you want to make a small fortune in the car business, you start with a large fortune. <laughs> Mr. C was not about fame. He didn't want recognition. He gave the recognition to the drivers, Alfred Momo, to the people that did the work for him. One of the biggest things I kept hearing over and over is generosity and kindness. There's a story at Sebring one year where Mr. C had brought his own mobile uh, machine shop to the track. And one of his rivals had broken down in practice. And he lent out his machine shop and his team members to help his rival fix their car so he could race them on the track because that's how he wanted to win. He didn't want to win any other way. He was all about the competition, being on the track and racing against the best. When it came to Le Mans, America didn't have a car. He tried to build his own car. It didn't work. When Corvette came to him and said, let's try it, he said, let's do it. Corvette knew that Mr. C, my grandfather, would get the best people, the best equipment, and go to Le Mans. So in 1960, they brought three cars there. Car one, unfortunately, failed. Car number two failed. Car three was racing, doing very well, and came with an overheating problem. They pulled into the pit. You saw in the story about the ice. There's two different stories as to how the ice got there. One was that the ice was there to help cool the team members' drinks, the, the, the staff drinks. The other was Mr. C's passion for ice cream. And he needed the cooler to be there to have his ice cream. So I can't feel it any more fitting away than two American icons, ice cream and Coca-Cola, would help the other American icon, Corvette, have success at Le Mans. Mr. C, I'm terrified to be up here. Mr. C would have hated to be up here. He did not like the spotlight. But at the same time, he would have recognized the honor it is to be here. His passion is like the passion of all 1,000 people in this room. You guys have a passion for the car, and that's why you're here. He had a passion for the car, a passion for racing. And on behalf of the family, my dad, who's not here, thank you.